Sports fans, can you believe it? It's finally here. Day one of the Wrestling State Tournament at the Pepsi Center. Action tipped off today at 2 o'clock with the 2A and 3A wrestlers getting into action. We're going to get you to those highlights right now. All right, let's kick off the action in 3A at 106 pounds. Hunter Bircher out of rifle taking on 33 and 5. Matthew Medina out of Eagle Valley. Medina gets a takedown, hangs onto an arm and gets some back points. Bircher would go for a low shot, but Medina is too quick and gets a round for two. Eventually, he would pin Bircher with an outside grip. At 113, Liam Hunsberger of Cedar Edge facing Daniel. Working time. And folks, it's time to eat a cross face sandwich. A little later, more back points for Hunsberger, a little more wrists to the face for Working Time. Eventually, Hunsberger would get the pin to 126. Trey Geyer, the one seed, looking for another state championship, taking on Cameron Brewer, lets him down nice and easy, but eventually works a handsome ball and chain. Get some near fall points for that later. More back points here. And yeah, there's no escaping this one. Trey Geyer with an impressive first match. Went to see Sean Dale's match. Only problem, he got the pin within 30 seconds. Only highlight I got is the one Bruins fans want to see. On to Rifle's talent court. Cordova taking on Lamar's one seed, Zane Rankin. Looks like Cordova's going to get the throw, but Rankin puts the brakes on that, comes away with a takedown of his own. Rankin would get the 7-1 win. Now on to 138, Rifles Bryce Rowley facing Talent Macy. Believe it or not, that's an escape for Rowley to tie up the match at 4 all with 50 seconds left, flash forward to the last 10 seconds, and Massey has a single leg, uses that head to ram him down. He still has an arm in there, but right as the whistle, yeah, there's the breakdown. Massey gets the match-winning takedown. At 145, there's a tough matchup for Olathe's Daniel Gray, taking on Elijah Smith out of Sierra. Watch out quick. Smith lowers his level, finds some back points here. Gray doesn't give up, gets back up, looking for the escape, but gets turned against Smith, would get the 17-2 tech fall. Back down to 138, Glenwood Springs. Eric Krauth ends the second with an escape point against Isaiah Rios out of Valley to make it 3-1 Rios in the third. It looks like Krauth could earn two here. Both wrestlers go to the map, but the ref would stop the action. Krauth gives it one last go as time expires, but it wasn't meant to be. You can see, like so many today, he left it all on the map. Obviously, lots of action in the 2A and 3A brackets. But guess what, sports fans? The day's not done. At 6 o'clock, the 5A and 4A got kicked off. And we're going to be bringing you highlights tonight at 9 and 10 from that. But for now, I'm Mike Kretz at the Pepsi Center, and we'll see you then.